Hi guys, welcome back to the 30 and 30. My name is Mike, this is 30 videos in 30 days in the month of April during calving on a ranch in Northeast Wyoming. Thanks for joining us once again. Uh, this was our first episode. Uh, we made it 13 in without a technical uh, snafu. And I guess this is our first uh, technical issue that we've had. And that's the fact that uh, we had a microphone go out. This is a great place for us to hide out. All right, so roll the pretty much the entire filming of this episode. So I'm going to try to piece it together as good as I can, but uh, there might be some strange things that you're going to see coming up and uh, maybe some subtitles, maybe some voiceover. We'll figure it out. But uh, so basically uh, we're out here checking cows. Uh, we just had a calf that was born back over the hill. In fact, go ahead and roll the tape. Alrighty. Oh, that's always fun. Number 16, 16 calves now on the ranch, probably more on the way today. So wouldn't it be cool if we could just roll the tape, go back and redo what we've already done? Well, you can't obviously, but there is one way that uh, you can actually turn back time and that's through learning from your mistakes and it's something that i've had to do uh since we came to the ranch and it's something that's been very hard for me to learn how to do but today we're going to take a look at uh, one of the biggest things that i learned here on the here during my time and uh, that all has to do with a giant cow shed that's located back at the main ranch we're going to head that way but along the way we're going to look for more calves in fact i thought i saw a mom just over the hill that looked like she was doing something let's go check that out Finally 
All right, so we're here in our cow barn. Uh, this barn is, uh, is 40 feet by 100 feet long, uh, fits about 200 cows. It'd be pretty tight to fit that many in here, but uh, we use this uh, mostly in the wintertime to make sure that, that the cows and their calves can get in and out of the weather. The biggest thing that you have to that we have to worry about with this cow barn is keeping it clean. Now there's no 100% uh, you know, hospital cleanliness that takes place in here, but being able to keep it clean as possible is what saves calves' lives. And we talked about, um, you know, learning from your mistakes. And I did have a year where I didn't get a chance to get in here and clean this out. And I lost a few calves because of the mud and the muck inside this barn. So what our goal for today is this. We have some cold temperatures on the way. We have up to 10 inches of snow, 10 to 12 inches of snow coming this week bitter cold temperatures and of course we're calving we're going to have wet calves we're going to have new calves and those things and cold calves and those things never ever uh, go well together so what our plan is is to bring as many cows as we can as, uh, into the barn now basically get them trained that they can come in at night uh, we'll close the gates so that they can't leave uh, this barn is in about 20 acres or so so we'll close the gates so that the cows are stuck in this 20 acres so it makes it a lot easier to check at night all that kind of good stuff so how we start uh, is this we are going to start by bringing in some straw and getting that put down inside this barn. Uh, I don't have any big bales of straw right now. In fact, even hay is hard to come by. Uh, our hay reserve is getting a little bit low. We'll take a look at that in just a few minutes. But um, I'm gonna bring in some small squares of straw. We're gonna get those laid out inside the barn here. I'm sure the cows are gonna help us. Then uh, we're gonna bring over some wheat hay uh, that we have and we're going to bring that over and spread that as well and hopefully be able to draw some cows into us. Now whether it's mom cows, cows that, cows that have had a calf or cows that haven't had a calf doesn't really matter. Uh, we want to bring them all in so that they're a lot easier to check on the cows and the calves uh, throughout these this cold snap that we're having here and night checks will be a lot easier. Everything will just take place and, and just flow a lot smoother uh, when we get that done. So. No time like the present. Let's get going.
Okay guys, don't eat all that. That's for your babies to sleep on. All right, well, we're gonna run over to the hay yard and grab a couple more, uh, a couple more bales of what is called, uh, I think it's barley, no it's not, it's wheat hay, uh, which is actually just wheat that's put up uh, directly into hay instead of being harvested by combine. We're gonna bring that over here and we're gonna use the hustler feeder to spread it at least in front of the shed here. Uh, and that will draw more cows up this way and hopefully there are calves with them. So, oops, I dropped a piece of string there. I don't want a calf to get into that. Okay, I could work in here all day. It's kind of nice. Get out of the wind. I'm pretty sure I've told you before, but I can handle cold temperatures. It's the wind that gets me. So in a perfect world, every mom would bring their calf up here and, and put them in this barn. But of course, uh, we don't live in a perfect world. But I think what would be interesting is once I get this uh, uh, wheat straw or wheat hay or whatever you want to call it uh, spread out in front of the cow barn there, I want to see how many of these cows do come in to get it and how many bring their calves with them and how many forget their calves is probably another thing I'm going to have to worry about. But we will see how well this works. And the nice thing is we're not expecting a ton of snow tonight. So this is actually a pretty good trial run of this whole thing and just to see uh, how it's gonna work. As you can see, our hay reserves are dwindling. Um, it's not good, but uh, I think just by doing the math, we've got about 15 days of hay, of hay left, and uh, it's not going to cut it. So I am currently searching for more hay uh, that we can't afford to get in here on the ranch uh, to feed these cows as we continue through the month of April at least, and, uh, and give this grass a chance to, to grow a little bit. And, and we may end up moving them into the next pasture a little bit faster than we wanted to if we don't. But that's the... Uh, that's the drought for you. We're always hoping for rain. And all this snow, this stuff and stuff that's in the forecast is definitely uh, is definitely gonna help. So Our trap is set. I mean, our experiment is complete. At least the setup part of it is. And we can start bringing in cows and hopefully their cows along with them.
do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two back here at the cow shed where I do not think a single calf has come up to hang it. But this isn't a horrible thing because what we've done is we've created a sanctuary. Oh, wait a minute. There's a calf over there. Uh, but we've created a sanctuary for cows that haven't had a calf yet. So this is a good area for them to hang out. It makes it a lot easier to check them at night. Might have backfired on me a little bit, but that's okay. We do have a couple calves in here. There's one right over there playing with a chicken. So all these cows have yet to calve. But hey, if they want to, they can do their business in the hilt or whatever a nice hotel goes for nowadays. This actually might be like a fly-by-night hotel, but at least they don't have to pay by the hour. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we've got more on the way, including tomorrow's video. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're getting ready to take pigs over to Sturgis for processing. That was scheduled during the 30 and 30 for some reason. So you're going to get to see us take these pigs that are way overdue, way too big, and way, way too much and uh, we get to take them to Sturgis for processing and try to get them in a trailer. It's always a lot of fun. That's gonna happen tomorrow, and a whole lot more is still on the way. So the 30 and 30 continues, and I hope that you're able to join us. Subscribe, follow along, explore the ranch life, escape your ordinary, ordinary right here on our Wyoming life. Blah, 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 blah. You know you get cold, your tongue stops working. You know that, how that happens? 
Does that ever happen to you? you get too cold, your tongue's like blah, 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 blah. You get that? Probably not. How about you? Excuse me. Pardon me. I'd like to leave now. Anybody remember where I parked? Bambi! What are you doing here? I don't have any cake, I'm sorry. Sorry, kid. Say bye. Bye bye!